What is the crack lads and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be taking a look at a real time, like in real time live tutorial of how I'm going to be kind of setting up. A lot of people are messaging me and I mean massive, massive thank you guys for the support, the continued support. I'm trying to upload two videos a day and just really grind the videos out um, because I'm actually playing a lot of the game and obviously I get asked a lot of questions and suggested videos and my chair keeps moving by itself. Um, I think it's haunted this chair but anyway we are going to be playing in the events at the moment we are coming up against this guy his team um so what i'm going to do is right i'm going to just talk about the two different kind of methods of how to play the game currently at the moment so the first method that we're going to use is going to be my kind of method of choice which is going to be possession based out wide attacks right so the key to this is you have your two wingers you have your left wing your right wing um, it, do, it depends whether you want to play, you know, three at the back, four at the back. It doesn't really matter that much. Your main objective here, out wide or possession with the tactics, is that you want to have the ball out wide. So possession game is obviously that they'll maximize the effectiveness of short passing and out wide, the focus will attack it from the sides and crossing the ball. When player knows the ball is in a good position to be crossed into the area, they will dash into position. So when you get the ball out in the wing, when you're playing out wide, you are going to have your AI actually make the runs in for you. And then the second one that we're going to switch to in the second half is going to be the meta that a lot of people are using, which is usually something along the lines of this. Um, with the three center backs and then we can kind of switch it up a little bit in a minute as well where we have our three center center forwards pretty much kind of operating as this you know where you've got your three central players and it'll be all one touch passing um we'll actually leave carlos there but we'll shove these boys here and we'll shove kimmich back and it's all about pack in midfield right so we're going to do the two of those and i'm going to show you for newcomers that are actually playing the game the two different ways that you can actually play this game um and hopefully go from there so raf is going to come on there and we're going to ho hopefully have a look at this guy's team as well and i will try and shorten down the video as best as i can but yeah i wanted to kind of show you in real time there's two different, very different ways. Now, I am playing on the second pass assist as far as I know. But, you know, the one pass assist, the ultimate pass assist, like, I think it, it just, it's way too much assistance. I don't like playing it. It's very, very handholdy. Um, but you can still achieve a lot of the one-touch passing stuff, right? So with this formation that I'm going to be playing here at the moment, when I get the ball, I'm going to show you. Um, and I'm also going to show you a couple of little bits and pieces. And hopefully, look, the result doesn't really matter in this game. Um, we are playing the event. It's not the dream team, so we're not taking it as seriously. I kind of use this as taking a break and just, you know, like unwinding um, and still try and get the points or whatever. But like... The main objective for me here in this is to isolate my wingers so you can tell very quickly what type of player you are like because it's kind of like in call of duty you know are you a sniper do you like kind of sitting back and chilling out because my main goal here is to get the ball out in these with these wide areas then slowing down the game and then obviously i am going to lose the ball more often than not oh he got me that was a good run i'm gonna butcher him lads play him offside all right lovely now again when i get the ball here i'm going to be looking to spray it out wide i'm not going to be going central so in the second half we're going to focus a different tactic um this is kind of possession based gameplay you'll see i'm waiting for the overlap and then this is the key to this is the switches there see that so i'm going to just be constantly looking to switch there and then cut inside with neymar get the ball in and hopefully get chances it depends the formation that or depends the players that you have inside Obviously, I'd be better off playing with this. The reason I use Romario in here is for the secondary attacks that I'm going to be using with this formation here. So this out wide possession based attack, you can see here again, every single attack I'm going to be using is going to be practically rinse and repeat and then get the ball into the box as quick as I can. It's not spam. I don't think it's spam if you're using the same tactic the whole time because I switch it up. You'll see here again, I'm looking to get it out wide, get the ball, beat the first man, and then wait for a chance to open up. Romario, I don't know what that was. Again here, I'm looking to get the ball out wide. Now obviously I overcooked it there. Get back up in Meccano. It's a good ball. It's a heavy touch though, lovely. And again, you'll see the space open up for me here again. Not and on, so I'm gonna hold the ball. Not and on, auto cancel. And then the switch is on for me. And you'll see when this guy gets the ball, he's not looking to recycle it. He's looking to go straight through to Mbappe which is what most people actually look to play like. And then the shot. 
You know, it's one touch, two touch, three touch. Now I'm going to be playing that in the second half of this match. Lovely. Now we go again. Here's that wide on my bike. Beat the man for pace if I can or a trick if I can. Doesn't work that time. But again, you can see the difference in him. Like, look how direct he's playing. It's literally to Mbappe. Every single attack is to Mbappe. And again, here I'm going to go at the overlap now. So Rafa gets it. He recycles it back. Gets it back again. Recycles it back. And here, here comes the switch. Oh man, I didn't mean that pass. I did not mean that pass. But here comes the switch again now. The wing play. Here we go. And that's kind of what this formation is all about. Lovely Rafa. And then the crosses. Neymar. Oh. Ah, oh, give me the attack. So compared to this formation, right? And obviously this is hard to play in live. Compared to this formation, this is the formation I'm going to change to in the second half with the sub tactic, right? So we're going to go meta. We're going to go to two in midfield. We're going to leave everything kind of as is. We're going to leave Carlos in a more advanced role. So he's going to play as part of a back four with these two guys, three center backs. You play your traditional four at the back, which are third center back there. You have Carlos on the wing. You have a DMF here. You have Goretzka out here. And then you're just going to be playing your, your little strikers up there. And that's what we're going to switch to here in a second. And uh, even though I'm still playing out, like it doesn't matter what formation that you're playing, I'll show you the style that you're going to be playing when I put on my sub-tactic here. So we'll just throw this on. So I've gone to the sub-tactic now. And this is what it's all about. This is what it's all about. This one-touch passing, getting the ball up as quick as you can to your center forwards, touch and go. He gets the ball back there, that's unfortunate. But that's what it's all about. It's all about direct. You're not even really focusing on anything. Neymar! Oh! And that's what it's all about, man. So it depends what type of play style that you want to do. You don't take any chance, any second on the ball. Obviously for me, it's not really worth it for me because I don't play that way. Like, it's, it doesn't suit my play style. Bastoni! But it's all about getting the ball through. It doesn't matter, you're not focused, you're not worried about whether you miss a pass, you're not worried about whether you get an interception, you're not worried about anything. As you can see with him, he's spamming it through. He's literally just spamming it through to Mbappe every chance he gets, every chance he gets. Now I'll go out wide every now and again, but the main priority here is to get it in central. And then one touch, one touch, try spread it out. Van Dijk is absolutely riding me there, well on Bastoni. Again, one touch, one touch, one touch, one touch, one touch, one touch, one touch. It's all one touch, man. That's what it is. And then the shot. And we might get the interception. We don't. But that's what it's all about. And you'll see here again, right? He gets the ball on the wing. Where do you think this ball is going? Where do you think it's going to end up? Straight into the path. And that's it. And again, he'll go looking to get into the path. Great finish. Great save. One touch. Carlos to swing it in. Romario. Oh, Kimi. Rafa! There we go, we get the goal. Now we're going to shut up shop and get this 50 coins in the bag. So yeah, that's what it's all about, lads, is getting the ball in, as you can see here with the formation that we're now playing, right? You can see this guy, right? This guy is playing three up top. He's switched to a left winger now. But he's playing four at the back. He's got Alaba there. He's got a deep sitting DMF. When we're playing this sub-tactic here, this is the formation we're playing. It's all about getting the ball into that area with Romario. So it's all about getting the ball here, into here, and then playing these little triangles in here. And that's basically what it's all about. But it's all about, as I said, getting the ball into that position. And then as for your individual tactics, you can play deep line, you can play tight marking, it doesn't really matter. It depends how you want to actually play. When the passing is haphazard like this, one touch play does, does kind of suit people. You know, because you can just one touch it up the length of the pitch. There's no, no real skill in it. Um, you can take minimum time on the ball and just get rid of the ball if you're under pressure. You can do touch and goes. So yeah, lads, we do get the result there. We played the first half of the game, possession-based football. We played the second half of the game, one touch passing, emphasis on triangles, emphasis on literally not even dribbling with the ball. And it doesn't matter if you get the ball intercepted because your players, 
don't have a chance that if you are counter-attacking with a one-touch pass and all the time, the players don't really have a chance at getting the ball when you do get a counter-attack or you get hit on the counter-attack. So let me know what playstyle you guys deserve or you guys deserve. Let me know what playstyle you guys enjoy. Let me know what playstyle you guys actually play. Do you play um, you know, a mixture of both? That's kind of what I play. Sometimes I need to switch it up and go direct. Or, you know, do you play kind of possession-based dribble-centric football? Let me know what you guys think. I'd be interested to know. Um, and yeah, let me know what you think. I will talk to you later. Hope this this video helped a couple of newbies out. I hope this video helped a couple of newcomers out as well, lads. So let me know if you have subscribed. And if you haven't, what are you waiting for? Because we do a lot of these videos to help you guys out. And as I said, I'm not the best player in the world. But I do watch a lot of eFootball. I play a lot of eFootball. Uh, I talk to a lot of the pro guys. So yeah, um, we will keep going with the videos. And I hope you guys enjoy the ride as we go on. Peace.